Dude and dude, that's say what up? It's your boy, Dude Mungus, man. We out here at the track, bro. I got your camera, man. What, what, what we doing, man? This is your first time out here, man. <gasps> we gonna make it do what it do, man. <laughs> <laughs> track now it's about to be our turn to go out there i did not get the audio situation figured out so do not judge me it is what it is i'm gonna try to get it figured out by the time lunch is over and i feel like all i need is some velcro so i might have to go to the store i gotta go to the store get some ice anyway so maybe after lunch we'll get to a little bit better so i'll just show y'all some of this footage i cannot i cannot cap i am nervous as heck because it's been so long since i've been out here but we're gonna make it do what it do that shit's hot bro Alright dude and dudettes, we start this off nice and easy, it's day one, first session out for novice group, uh, so you're going to see the coach here is going to take us out for a few laps and he's just making sure we have the layout of the track and making sure that everyone is comfortable with what they're doing. Uh, Hitman describes me best, he says, Mungus you are a slow burner um, as far as the learning goes and being two years since I've been on the track I'm actually glad that I started off in novice and we took it super duper easy so this is a super easy pace getting everyone used to the track so for you guys this is going to be your first time on the racetrack and this should be for any racetrack you go to but at least with precision track day they're going to make sure that you get comfortable and acclimated with the track before you start going yeet and I know the speedometer is saying, hey, you're doing almost 100 miles an hour, but on the track in these conditions, it's really not that fast. Because at the track, you don't have to worry about intersections, you don't have to worry about dogs, squirrels, gravel. You're just able to ride and have a good time. So, again, he's just taking us through some laps just to make sure we get comfortable, get used to the layout. Because, like I said, for me, it has been two freaking years since I've been here. Um, and right now I'm at like 100 miles an hour by the end of the day I'm at 150 160 coming across this back straight so we get up to pace but I'm, I'm so glad we took it easy starting off Something I like about the coaches is they also they keep looking back to make sure you're okay because sometimes they'll be taking you around and they might be a million miles ahead of you and they're like oh okay let me slow up because you're going too fast but here we're 
completed another lap. Coach is looking back and he's like, yo, Mungus is right there. I'm thinking you're good to go, Mungus. I'm thinking you're okay. So later, after we get down past this back straight, you'll see him wave me by. And he's like, you're good to go. Go ahead and go. Let me check out the next person behind you. So here, we just, the coach is giving me to go ahead, so I'm going ahead and going, and we rocking and rolling, and the thing about it is I'm starting to get more comfortable, but with getting more comfortable, be smart about when you pick your moves to pass. Sometimes, yes, you're faster than someone coming into a corner, but to be safe and to make sure you stay shiny side up, you need to make smart passes. And here, man, I'm being too nice coming up after this back straight. And my buddy Dale passes me. And he gets past like five or six riders. And I'm just like, man, if you could have hurt me in my helmet. I was like, it's a bull, man. I was like, no. Because me and my buddy Dale were trying to stay together so bad. I was like, dang. Now he's six backs ahead of me. I was like, all right, Mungus. Now you got to get it together. You got to stop being so nice and polite. <laughs> and you got to go. Dale, you ain't going to be passing me like that, my boy. So here, we're caught in a lot of traffic. Just being patient, wait my turn. I know I got the power to muscle some people on the straight. So, all right, let me muscle who I can muscle. Got one, and I'm just like, mmm. I probably can get another, but I, I just don't want to put anybody in this situation. So I'm just like, all right, Mungie, just hold tight. Hold tight. You get yourself together something else I appreciate about the coaches when they know they have slower traffic behind them they stay to the right which allows you to pass without creating a situation in the situation room so here I know I'm coming up on a rider and I'm like I know I have pace on this rider but again I don't want to stall on anybody so I'm kind of like a shark stocking or lion stocking this prey I'm just like waiting for my moment waiting for a moment I had a sneak peek there and I was like mm, I could have took him there but I was like again I don't want to put anybody in a situation in a situation room, but I was like, you know what? Coming out of five, I'm going to get him. So I was like, let me see whether he go inside or outside. I'm about to take him. I was like, oh, he's going outside. I'm about to go inside. Got him. Be smart about your passes, man. This is one thing I like about Precision Track Day. They allowed us to pass, but they said, hey, be smart about your passes. You don't want to jam somebody up. That's not a good pass. That's not a smart pass. Make it clean. I see another opportunity to pass a rider on the straight. I'm like, up, oh, here we go. I'm trying to see whether he's going to stay to the left or the right. I'm like, bam, I got him. Smooth and predictable, baby. Here you got Dale behind me. This is just another angle. So currently we're behind the coach and... He's just like, you know, go, go, whatever, whatever. And then eventually he waves us by. And sure enough, Dale goes past me. And I'm just like, man. <laughs> so let me try to catch Dale. I didn't catch him the rest of this uh, session out. I didn't catch him. But it was fun. We are getting through a little traffic. Apollo behind me got caught in a little traffic. But he catches back up very soon. And uh, we, we do the best we can. Uh, starting off for day one and the first session, we were running like two minute laps, which was way off of was way off of our pace by the time we finished day one. But I just kind of want to take you guys through the process of day one and just kind of let you know how it goes. It is a very slow burn process. A lot of times it's not that exciting, but it's because they want to work you up to speed. You know, you just don't go out there eating because you can get yourself in trouble. Here, definitely caught in some traffic. Just trying to be, 
trying to be smart about my decisions. See an opportunity, I take it. And I feel like that bike you see coming up, the yellow bike, that's Apollo. Yeah, so Apollo seen his opportunity, he took it as well. And then you already know, we hit that back straight. The bat about to do what the bat does. Let's eat, baby. come on to another lap we come up on traffic from another coach he's like yeah go ahead and pass so I stretched it out a little bit but here you see all these people I just passed I ran into heavy traffic and no lie this moment scared the crap out of me because I was like I thought I was gonna run into somebody and this was a moment where I wasn't so smart and I was like Mungus you gotta chill bro make smart decisions so I just kind of slow down get myself together after that and this is going to be the end of session one for day one. I just kind of wanted to take you guys through the process. I've been getting a lot of questions of what can I expect when I go to the track. So I just wanted to kind of take you guys through this process of how day one, session one of a track day will go. It is, again, it's a very slow burn process. But I encourage you guys not to get ahead of yourself. Just take your time, learn the track, make smart decisions. Looks like a lot of no monkey. No monkey. No monkey. Thank you for watching, dude. No monkey. Alright now. Now this is later on in day one. Me and my buddy Dale start moving. Uh, we started getting comfortable so again i know it's a slow burn process but oh we about to heat it up next episode so y'all stay tuned it's just a sneak peek Okay.